Online markets are nothing new. These websites open the world to artists and craftspeople with things to sell through their small businesses. But what about a marketplace that caters solely to college student creators? As 207's Beth McAvoy reports, a college student at Colby, Josh Kim, thought that market was worth tapping into. The Cubby is the very okay. first art marketplace uh, where college students can exclusively showcase and sell their work to the general public. It is for everyone, but specifically on the selling side, um, we are building this product for college student creatives. Um, so only college students with the .edu email address can post and sell their work, and then the general public can buy and whatnot. Most online marketplaces charge the artists to sell their products. Not so on the Cubby website. We actually give 100% of the listing price to the artist. Um, this is actually, we're actually the first art marketplace to do so, to not take transaction fees. And we did that in order to make sure that we're aligned with our vision of empowering college students and giving them all the power in terms of financials and support um, for them to succeed in the future. How does the Cubby make money? That's a great question. So the Cubby partners up with other companies and businesses um, and brands to actually host competitions, um, to allow these brands to uh, facilitate and work with the Cubby community, which is actually a very specifically niche Gen Z college student market. We have also been servicing some of the college student work so that these companies that are looking for a more younger generation, kind of more, you know, like a, a vision from, from the, the newest generation, um, we service that work out and we also get a cut from that deal as well. Where did the idea for the Cubby come from? I realized that I had a shared experience with a lot of artists, and that was the, the understanding of how difficult and um, how vulnerable it is to share your own work and to share that to the public and not really receive any support or any kind of, you know, feedback from anyone else and just have to do, having to do that on an independent and very solo uh, journey. And so this idea of building a community around creative work, around independent work, around work that's produced by yourself. Um, that was ultimately where the, the idea came from. Currently around 600 students from 200 different colleges are selling their work on the Cubby. A lot of them are on the East Coast, but actually we have a fair amount of schools in California, um, some schools in Washington, a lot in Texas, um, so all over the nation. Um, and we're proud to be, we're almost at every single state. I think we're, we're, we're in around 30 states in the nation. And so hopefully we want to keep growing, growing that until we hit all 50. College students not only keep 100% of the sales of their work, they also don't pay any fee to be a member of the Cubby community. We decided that we want to build our community first. So that's actually why when you go on our platform, thecubby.com, um, the first thing you see aren't products, but people. And we really, really want to highlight this and build this community and brand first before we look into any of the monetizing that these other art marketplaces seem so quick to do. The Cubby has been up and running for four months, and in that time, students have sold more than 500 pieces of art. Josh Kim has been working on the idea for the online marketplace for more than two years. He's hired four other college students to help the site grow. Where did the name The Cubby come from? We wanted a name that embodied the energy of The Cubby, something that wasn't necessarily, um, it didn't have to fully make sense, but something that captured the vision and kind of where the Cubby wants to be headed and kind of the energy of the community that we want to embody. Everyone, when they're in elementary school, kindergarten remembers, you know, at the end of the day or in the very beginning of the day where they put their backpack and kind of this idea of having allowing yourself to store something very safely and securely and kind of that young energy and those memories that come with having your own Cubby. What can you find on the Cubby website? Um, all forms of art. So whether it's, you know, digital art, physical art, paintings, drawings, um, we have sculptures in there, we have pottery in there, we have even apparel. So anything that a student can make of their own art, very, in, in my opinion, and now the Cubby's opinion is very much, um, you know, any sort of medium, really, you know, whatever it may be, if it's a canvas, it's a canvas, if it's a wall, it's a wall. If you can create something of your own and then put it on a different medium, we call that art. And so um, any sort of student made work we like to, we like to uh, share on the Cubby. So last month, the Cubby won $25,000 from the Maine Center for Entrepreneurs Top Gun program. And for more than a decade, it has helped 300 entrepreneurs grow their businesses. Josh Kim says they are using the prize money to help spread the word about the Cubby. Very interesting.